Hello everyone, welcome back to Nated Engineering. We are still on hydrostatic forces, fluid mechanics N5. Today we want to look at hydrostatic forces on curved surfaces. So what we are going to have is a scenario like this, where we are now having a curved surface. The hydrostatic force from the water will be acting on this curve in that manner. We know from the principles that I gave to you on the first video on this um, hydrostatic series, we there is, there is a principle that says the pressure will act at a right angle to the boundary. So that is what it is. This is what it means. So we already know by now that if we are having a force that is acting at an angle, that force will develop two components, which is the horizontal component and the vertical component and after having this we can complete the parallelogram to calculate for this one and uh, use Pythagoras theorem to calculate for R if we have these two so how do we get these two our edge will be given by rho g a times y bar where our y bar will be, this is h, will be h, our y bar will be equals to h divided by 2. Our area is going to be h times 1. Why 1? It's because we are assuming that this will be 1 meters. Since we are now dealing with the edge, we are calculating for edge, we will be dealing with that area, that surface. It will be a wall just like this one, where this is 1 meters and this is our edge. This will always be 1 meters unless stated otherwise. They can decide to tell you that it is maybe 5 meters, but if you are not given any value, you take that as 1 meters. So. Our area, obviously from here, you can see that it will be h times 1, which will be the area that we put here when we calculate for what? For our h. Our g and rho, we, we know those ones. And then for our v, v is now given by g, it's rho g volume. Volume, we know, it is equals to area times length. From this very formula, this area, it's in cubic it's in meter squared times meters this will give you volume so i'm trying to to show you that it's not that we are changing the formula it's just that we are now looking to calculate for the volume of the water that is within this structure meaning the area that we are going to use will be this area a b C. The area here will be area A, B, C, which is covered by this portion. And the length will be this one. Meaning it will be the area, the length will be equal to one meter unless stated otherwise so the formula to calculate for this area for the area of that uh, shape it's given by two thirds of x and y where this from here to here it's our x and then from here to here it's our y this is our y, and then it's from here, where the water, um, from the surface of the water to this point, it will be our y. And then this is the formula to calculate for area of uh, this shape. And then we are going to say this area times the length, we are, we are going to put here, that will be our volume. G we know, and rho we also know. And then from there, we are going to say the hydrostatic force from the water will be equals to h squared 
plus v squared which it's our pythagoras theorem we can uh, start it from here h squared plus v squared from here we derive it to here because we are looking for the value of r since we can tell that our force is acting at an angle you might be required to calculate this angle in that case this is our r this is our h this is our v we complete the parallelogram this will be v this will be h we utilize this this uh, structure that is why we're using the pythagoras theorem because we are having this structure so to calculate for this one we are going to use trick ratios we are going to pick tan as it is opposite over adjacent where this is our opposite and this is our adjacent therefore our tan will be given to will be given by the inverse of opposite adjacent which is h and then from there you are going to get your your angle and that is everything that you need to start answering questions uh, involving the hydrostatic force on curved surfaces so we are going to do an exercise from my test book which reads as follows the face of a demo wall is curved according to the relationship y is equals to x squared divided by 2.4 as shown in figure 4.15 where y and x are in meters the height of the of the free surface above the horizontal plane drew a is 15.25 meters calculate the resultant force due to the fresh water acting on the unit breadth of the dam and determine the angle at which it is inclined so this is the information that we are given we are asked to calculate for the value of r we know r is given by h squared plus v squared so if we can get the value of h and the value of v we can be able to calculate for the value of r so our next job now is to get the value of h and v our h starting with h is g it's rho g a times y bar rho is 1000 g 9.81 the area the area that we are dealing with since we are work, we are dealing with the horizontal component will be equals to from here to here and that portion which we know it's one meter unless stated otherwise so our area here it will be one five point two five times one that is our area our x bar will be equals to one point it's one five rather 0.25 divided by 2 which will give us our edge as being 1140.719 kilo newtons and then now we want to calculate for the value of v v it's equals to h g v 1000 9.81 times v which we know it is equals to area times uh, length we know that v is area times length which area is it that we are looking for we are looking for the area of this triangle which will be area dca therefore we know that the area area dca it's equal it's given by two third x y we have y but we do not have x we are given a condition the relationship between x and y we are going to use that to calculate for the value of x we can just say x is equals to the square root of y times 2.4 from this thing therefore from here we can get the value of x where we are going to say the value of y is equals to 15.2 5 times 2.4 and our x is then equals to 
0.98 meters and then we can take this and put it in the formula uh, this formula to calculate for the area where we're going to say it's two third of our x it's 6.0498 our y it's equals to this is our y one seven it's one five point two five times one the one this is that one you must include it and then this will be equals to 603.374 kilonewtons then now we can use this to calculate for what our r our r is then equals to what is the value of h so 1140.719 all raised to 2 plus our value of v which is 603.374 raised to 2 which will be equals to 1290.465 kilonewtons and then we are also asked to calculate for the angle um, this is our r our r will develop two components which is our h and v we are asked to calculate for this triangle we complete the parallelogram method where we are going to have our v here v here h here and then we are going to utilize this portion and use theta which is equals to opposite and adjacent opposite this uh, divide by adjacent which will be tan theta it's equals to v divided by h theta is equals to the inverse of tan in bracket our v which is equals to 603.374 divided by h which is 1940.719 and this will be equals to 27.876 degrees and that is how we go about answering questions on uh, hydrostatic forces on curved uh, surfaces. I will see you on the next lesson.